<laughs> Hello, welcome back to Kindergarten Ready. Happy Friday. Um, my calendar helper this morning is again Miss Eleanor. And hey everybody. We are going to go ahead and get started by writing today's date. So Miss Eleanor, um, I need yeah. to know what the day of the week is first. Can you tell me? Yeah, the, the, the day of the week is Friday. Friday. What's the first time you hear on Friday? Or I and then they. Good job. D A Y. Very good. Got two chunks. One chunk, two chunk. Okay, and what's the month? The month um, is March. It's March. Big, strong, uppercase letter. March. And what day in March? March the what? March the 27th. March the 27th. And it's 2000. Very good. Okay. Friday, March 27th, 2020. I need to give um, this a digital date. So I need month, day, year. What number do I give to March? Um, January. Three. The third month of the year, the 27th day in the month, and the year is 2020. 20. Very good. Okay, so I've got that. I think we need to get the wiggles out a little bit. Can you help me? Yeah. Yeah. Come here. We're going to sing the days of the week song and then the months of the year. You ready? There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 I got a question for you. If you point over there to the days of the week chart, if today you told me it was Friday, what was yesterday? Yesterday was... Um, Look at that word. What are the first two letters in that word? So yesterday was Thursday, and today is Friday, and tomorrow will be Saturday. I'm telling you guys, you're watching a teacher make it right now. You're seeing it. Okay. All right. Very good, Miss Eleanor. I think we need to do the months of the year now. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Come on over. We'll do it slow, faster, and then really fast. Okay, okay guys. Are you doing it at home? Are you ready? Let's All right. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, then you turn around. Faster. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, then you turn around. Really fast. Really fast. Are you ready? You ready? All right. You got your tongues ready to say it? Are you, you ready? Okay, I think we're ready. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Then you turn around. Whew. That was so fast. How'd you do? Did you whack yourself in the head? No. Okay, all right, good. faster. Even faster. I th you want to do it even faster? All right, let's go, let's go. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, then you turn around. <laughs> oh my goodness. I think my helper has a case of the giggles. I think it's time for you guys to go check the weather outside. What's it doing outside at your house? Okay. And now while you guys are doing that, we're going to come back together and do our tally marks. Now, yesterday on Thursday, we finally got to 130. Yeah. So today is 130... One. One. And 131. All right. And since it's Friday, let's count by fives and then we'll get your tens up and count them that okay. way, okay? All right. Five. Ten. Fifteen. Twenty. Twenty-five. Thirty. Thirty-five. Forty. Forty-five. Fifty. Fifty-five. Sixty. Sixty-five. Seventy. Seventy-five. Eighty. Eighty-five. Ninety. Ninety-five. One hundred. One hundred and five. 115, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120
off and on. My daddy used to say that to me when I didn't want to get up and do something. Off your booty and on your feet, okay? All right, you ready? Yeah. Okay, get your tins up, get your tins up, get your tins up. Are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Okay, get them up. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Okay, now we're going to count by ones all the way to 100, but we're going to do it silly style. Okay, okay so I'm going to make up different ways for us to do it. The first way is going to be like you're a kangaroo, so you're going to jump and do it. Ready? Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and now I want you to be a frog and do it. Ready? Okay. Ready? 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay. Now I want you to be a tree. Okay. Okay. We're on 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 30. Now I want you to pretend that you're Dory speaking well. 10, 20, 30. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Now I want you to pretend like you're Flash. You guys remember the superhero Flash? Oh, I got even better. Flash. Dash off The Incredibles. Remember, he's super fast, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got 10, 20, 30, 40. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Okay, now we're going to pretend that we're his sister. And isn't she invisible? So pretend. Say, can't see me. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. Okay, now we're going to pretend that we are a bird flying in the sky. 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66. 67, 68, 69, 70. Now I want you to pretend that you are a rocket ship. Okay, what number are we on? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. 70. 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80. Now I want you to pretend that you're a giant. Ready? 80. 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90. Now I'm going to pretend that you're a small, small elf, like in The Shoemaker. Okay. Have you, do you remember that book, The Elves in the Shoemaker? Have you ever read it? It's on Storyline Online, just so you guys know. <laughs> All right. So we're going to be little, small elves, okay? 91, 92. You gotta be quiet for them because they're they're small, they tippy toe in. 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Good job, guys. Good job. Now we're gonna come on over and we're gonna work on our word problem. Okay, I've got an equation up here. Okay, I've got an equation up here, and it is five minus three equals what? Equals what? I don't know. I think we should write a word problem to help us figure this out. What do you think? Okay, so do you want to be the star of this word problem? Okay. All right, so Ellie has five what? Five. You've got five what? Five cookies. Cookies, okay. You really like cookies, don't you? I eat them all the time. Okay, so is are we going to add more cookies or are we going to watch ya take some away? Take some away. We're going to take some away. How many are we going to take away? Um, three. Three. Okay, so how are we going to take them away? Are you going to give them to someone? Are you going to eat them? Eat them. Are they going to fall on the floor and get dirty eat and you have to them. throw them away? You're going to eat them up. I figured she would eat them. I figured she would. Okay, so Ellie has five cookies. She says she eats how many? Three more. Three more? Or she eats, yes. she, <laughs> she eats three of them. How many does Ellie have now? Show your thing. How many does Ellie have now? Show your thing. 
I think this ain't her first rodeo, guys. <laughs> How many does Ellie have now? Question mark. Show your thinking. Your thinking. Okay, Miss Ellie, now you got to show the work too. And you at home also have to show your thinking by yep. using your fingers or you can do it on your piece of paper. But we got to show our thinking. So, Ellie, I'm going to write it over here so you can reach it easier. Five takeaway three equals mystery box. So, how would you show me your thinking? Start over here. So, you start with drawing how many? Five. So, we're at home. We're going to start with five. Okay. That whatcha means that you're going to do what with some of them? Take three away. You're going to take three away. Now, can you show me how to take three away of these? Did you guys see Ellie just in with her fingers? She took two, three away. How many is she left with? <gasps> Five minus, minus three, three equals, equals two. So how many cookies do you have left? Two. One for me and one for you? <laughs> oh, she might share cookies with me. I'm not sure. Okay, guys. So now today we for Friday homework. And, um, um, and then I Oh, that sounds delicious. And, they, and we just got them um, yesterday. Day before. Excellent. Mm -hmm. You ready to give them their homework? Yeah. All right, guys. Okay, today you are going to write a sentence using the word like. L-I-K-E. Like, like, like. Right. So you're going to use a sentence using the word like, and I want you to draw a picture to match. So if you write the sentence, I like to play with my sister, then you have to draw a picture of you playing with your sister because remember, we want- Or your brother. Or your brother. We want your illustrations or your pictures to match your words, okay? We need them to match so your audience or whoever's reading it knows what you're thinking inside those beautiful heads, okay? All right, your second homework assignment. I want them, hey, are you gonna do it too? I want you guys to build a tower. You can build it out of blocks. You can build it out of plastic cups. Nothing breakable. You can only build out of non-breakable things, okay? Yeah. Um, we, you could even use, um, we had Dr. Seuss fun the last few weeks at school, and my kids got to build towers out of these. I called them tumbling towers because they really had to work to get things situated on there to where they wouldn't topple over, okay? Yeah. So if you want to build a toppling tumble tower, I would love it. Okay, guys, and again, if you would like for us to see your awesome towers, have your parents or whoever is watching you today, they can post in the comments and let everybody see your awesome work, okay? I, would, I know me and Miss Amanda would love to see your awesome towers, okay? Your last homework assignment for this week, and it's a hard one. It's a really hard one. I want you guys to help pick up your toys in your area where you play because I'm sure your houses are a wreck. If they're anything like mine, it's like toy, whoa, they went everywhere, okay? I want you guys to help clean up your area, and then I want you to go outside and play. I want you to climb and run and jump and slide if you've got a slide at your house, but I want you guys outside in that fresh air at your house, okay? All right, and we will see you next week at Kindergarten Ready. Bye, guys.